I'll admit, I'm going to be showing the cheapest way possible to beat this guy, so... Yeah, don't expect a lot. We're not going to be doing much actual tactics here. Our plan is to get into this corner, and then aim our beam basically right here, and then hold it. And he'll just keep walking into it. Over, and over, and over again. But, the battle itself is going to take the better part of 15 minutes or so, at least. Because it takes forever to get any real damage on this guy. Which sucks, you know, because... You're standing over here just waiting for him to come back over and over and over again. Like, using this tactic takes about four minutes, I think, to take off, like, one hit point on this guy. <sighs> Though, admittedly, that's maybe if you try and do some moving back and forth, because the game doesn't really reward you for trying to actively engage this guy. It mostly rewards you for just sitting in a corner, you know, and just blasting him when he comes over. Because he can't touch you in this one spot. So you can get in, like, a good three, four hits, you know? And don't even try Kylie for this fight. Like, she can't hit him, like, practically at all. Even with her rapid fire, she can't really score a lot of rapid hits on him. So it sucks, because, you know, there's only one boss she's any good at, and that's basically the clown boss. Everyone else, she just sucks. I, I don't get why so many of the enemies were basically designed to be taken care of by the dude. Like, why is Kylie's blast, you know, just rapid-fire tiny blasts that just don't do enough to matter? Because they don't stop enemies dead in their tracks. Like, at least this, you know, when he gets hit in the goatee, it, like, stuns him for a little bit, and then he tries moving move again, then BAM, you know. Kylie, he just moves right through it, basically. Because, like, the hits just don't count. Unless the timing is, like, super perfect for some reason. Like, damn you, game, don't I have enough problems already? Oh, we finally got one HP down. Okay, it's two minutes. If you speed into the corner. Though I think each HP point counts for, like, a little bit more health on this guy or something. It's like the game wants you to feel the pain, you know, of slowly having to tear this guy apart. Like, come on, game, bring him back over. I just want to shoot him in the face. And then we wait. Yeah, this is one game you almost want to play on emulators. So you can just hit the speed up button while you sit in the corner, you know, here and just speed things through. Because there's no real tactic to this, it's just patience. Like, like, maybe we could be a bit more engaging using the bookcases or something. But then you probably have to run away from him so you don't get smacked with his big head when he walks through, because that would hurt you, obviously. Unless you could, like, duck dodge it. I have my doubts. Well, back to waiting again for our opportunity. And yeah, like I said, there's no point in moving the beam, because we're basically in the perfect spot. I wish we could hit him from behind, though. Like, you can't shoot people in the back of the head in this game. Makes no sense. In most other games, you know, you got a beam or something you're shooting, hitting people in the back of the head is just as valid as the front of the face. They're so, like, oh, you gotta shoot him in the eyes. Like, why are the eyes his weak spot? Right? I mean, I've heard of the phrase, see the white of their eyes, but I don't think I, see that, I think that really would compare with this. He's a demon. Or at least a half demon. It's basically Inuyasha, only, you know, a lot more evil. Yep, still waiting on that HP. Ugh. Working towards the five minute mark, damn it. We finally take it off. Oh, yep, finally. So, if this keeps up at this rate, soon they all are worth actually an equal amount, it'll take us about. A little bit over 10 minutes or so. We'll see. I suppose it fits with the longer length of some of these later stages, you know. Because they're nightmare fuel. And full of traps, you know, they just exist to screw over a beginner. Because who would expect, you know, there to be a, a dangerous platform, you know, you can't see. Like, it's like bullshit. Ugh. 
Well, come on. Keep it coming. Like I said, trying to engage him more would just be more difficult because he's almost always off screen. It's just easier to pivot here and just wait. This might ironically, unironically be like one of the fastest ways to beat him too. Unless you're like really good at this. I'm sure someone could prove me wrong. But how many people are going to play through this game just to get to this fight to do that? Well, I suppose they could use the password system to get to the just before this fight, or I think there might be a password into the fight. Um, on game facts, I guess people really want to mess with it and show they can beat him quicker. If they can do it with Kylie, I'd be even more impressed. I'd love to see that. Come on. Come on back now. Well, obviously, it's not going to be on that one. It took us a bit over two minutes the first time. It's going to take us about another two minutes, 15 minutes, seconds almost to get to the second one. It's going to take me until, what, like 6.30, 6.45 here to do it? Roughly. So we're waiting for at least one more cycle, if not two. Come on. Just come on back. Yep, maybe the next cycle he'll lose an HP point. Wouldn't that be nice? Ugh. So boring. Nope, nope, nope. Didn't get it. Maybe the next one? I'd like to say we're, we're making progress, right? Oh, there it goes. Seven minutes in, we've taken off three-fifths of his health. Just two more to go. And yeah, he never learns how to counter this. He just keeps doing the same pattern. Like, he's just as predictable as the clown guy, only, you know, it takes forever. At least the clown guy, you can try to be more actively in your engagement with him. This guy, you're like, nope. Corner sit. <sighs> he's a guy you can beat without even looking at the screen. As long as you hold the button, you can be doing anything, like pulling out a book and reading. I suppose that's an option. I got some books next to my desk, or I could be looking at what's next on the chopping block. Uh, Sigma Star Saga. Hmm. I don't think I can do five episodes for that, unless some of that's into grinding. Because when you first um, get control of your character, they're so weak it's hard to get away from the ship without dying. But I suppose that's a problem for later. If I got a decade an episode to grinding, I'll do it. I won't like it, but it's on the table. If I feel it's pivotal to advancing the game. Though admittedly, a lot of the things that happen with that game are kind of weird, because it's a RPG slash, like, side shoot 'em up or whatever. A side scroller, yeah. Like side shoot em up, like side scroll. There we go. Messing up the term. But it's also got Zelda like elements with expiration when it comes to picking up tools and stuff. So Sigma Star Stock is a really weird game. That's all I'm saying. Well, give me about. Yeah, it's gonna take close to 12, 13 minutes for this to work. Damn, that's tedious. Come on, get back here, you rat. I can't say that on YouTube. I so want to, though. Yeah, it's gonna take a bit over. Uh, uh think so, maybe? Maybe this one will do it. Yep. And then just hold for another, like, two and a half to three minutes. Ugh, and then after that, I want to work on Harry Potter. Well, I might do that one first. Harry Potter for the Game Boy Advance, not the PS2, since I started work on both. Albeit the PS2 version might be uh, a bit more enjoyable. Albeit to get to the 100% completion on that game for your save file, you gotta use a glitch. 
like for the PS2 game, I guess they left out a class, like all the stars you need from school, you gotta take advantage of a glitch in the greenhouse so you can redo it. Would you like just go down, please? I suppose I could try standing in the flames to speed things up, but I don't want to take unnecessary damage. Not when there's a option that lets me avoid it. Ugh. Come on. I wish I could just hurry up this process. Ugh. And not feel a bit dirty about it. Ugh. I'm not even looking at the screen anymore. I'm just staring up at the at the ceiling, and my ceiling doesn't even have anything on it besides some posters, and I can barely get those when I turn my head. Well, now. Almost there. Right. And how come we can shoot through that guy's knee anyway? Really bizarre, if you ask me. Come on. And it goes on. And on. Just... Just one more health point is all I ask, game. Just take it off, will you? Otherwise, I'm going to have to start talking about my Pocky Huck. Gosh darn it. Yeah, I got a, a, a puck from a Chicago Wolves game I keep in my room. I don't know why, I just do. And finally he's dead. <sighs> and the Ghostbusters are saved. Team is complete once again, but a new adventure is waiting for you right now. Enjoy hours of missing sleep underneath the... Coconut trees in Hawaii. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, I can just skip through the end credits by just tapping the button. Well, this game doesn't deserve to have the end credits played. Whatever. Till next time, then. See ya.